So I bought a lens without a camera. Hey, what's up guys? So this is video five. Um, first off, I just want to thank again, everyone tuning in uh, up to like almost 2K views. So uh, I do appreciate it. And we're also at about like 28 subscribers, which not big, but uh, it's more than I've had before. So it's pretty cool. So I want to talk about uh, what I'm calling uh, a lens theory craft and why I bought a lens with, before having a camera again. Um, part of this, uh, once I sold off uh, my previous gear, um, kind of used it to pay, pay some things off and uh, just reduce gear overall. Um, and I basically decided on the lenses that I want ahead of, you know, having a body or having a whole kit or anything like that. Uh, so like I said, I'm calling it a, a lens theory craft. As part of that, uh, the first lens that I purchased was the Light Lens Lab 50 millimeter Elcan copy, a reproduction. That's one of kind of like what I wanted to be my main kit. Uh, it's going to be that and the, the, the Thipoc 28 uh, f1.4. So why these lenses? Why M mount? Um, I found that M mount lenses are... Uh, pretty much the easiest to marry out of all the lenses, at least for what I want. Uh, they're pretty universal. Uh, you see stuff like the, you know, all the adapters and even the tech art stuff uh, that allows for autofocus that, you know, obviously it's not native, but uh, it shows that it's going to be relevant into the future. Uh, it's going to be something that's going to be worked on and supported. So I think it's easy to get strictly M mount lenses. And then ultimately you can kind of go anywhere with bodies. Now, as of my first video, uh, I'm still waiting to see what TT Artisan brings. Uh, I do think it's going to be an M mount camera. Very well could not be, uh, but I would love to see that camera and TT Artisan. If you guys ever watch these, uh, I would love to test out your camera. Um, you know, if you want to send me a copy someday, that'd be great to review on the channel. I also know eventually, you know, I'm not, I'm not a film shooter. I, I haven't been previously. Um, but something I'd like to get in the future, maybe, uh, would be like a film body, uh, Leica or maybe a Canon and Nikon rangefinder. But, uh, if I do go with a Leica body, then my M mount glass will still work on that as well. Um, and that'd be something, you know, to keep, to pass down, um, even if it's not used all the time necessarily, just as kind of, uh, something for posterity. So I also knew with my, my previous experience with L mount, um, even the contemporary glass is still kind of big, um, at least for the speed. You can go with the smallest Sigma lenses, uh, and they're still, you know, not super small, um, or they are a bit slower if you want to go with like the 45, the 24, the 90. Although the 90 is uh, pretty small and is, uh, I'm sure is a nice lens. Uh, so for me, I found what would be probably the most compact setup uh, for myself and what I'd like to shoot, again, based off previous usage. Um, there's a close focus adapter and M mount glass on a full frame body. Um, I've shot with enough lenses already, uh, you know, zooms, different primes to know what I like. Um, and I think a big thing for this kit that works is 28 and 50 are different enough to, to warrant carrying both, um, or to have that be like your main kit, uh, you know, 35 and 50, obviously different, but, uh, just less so, less uh, noticeable. I'll do a separate video on it, I'm sure, um, or once I have a body and everything again, but I do have the Thipoc coming as well, uh, the 28 F1.4. Uh, I, you know, I'd probably love the 35 someday, but as far as like an immediate thing or even this year, you know, that's 28 and 50 is, is plenty to work with and to, to really get used to um, and to just to make great images with those before, you know, worrying about other stuff beyond the 28 and 50 focal lengths that I'm, I'm pretty set on. Um, like I said, I've already decided ahead of time. Uh, I would like to do the, uh, TT artisan 21 millimeter and then a 90 millimeter of some sort, you know, high price on that. It would be like a 90 mil Summicron. I would love to see, uh, some kind of reproduction or a, a run from, uh, from light lens lab or TT artisan of a smaller 90 mil. Um, I know there's like the, the Mitocon or Mitocon uh, 90 mil and then the TT Artisan that are, are both super fast. Um, that's certainly a, an option of thought, um, but I'd prefer to have like a, a 90 mil F2 and then uh, the TT Artisan, they're, uh, they're 
pretty fast 21 mil. But as part of this, you know, lens theory craft, uh, obviously I had a body in mind already ahead of time. Uh, that is also on the way. And uh, it might be a little surprise. I think I'll, I think I'll wait to, uh, to show what I'm going with. But I will say from, from everything I've seen online, uh, obviously it's, you know, M glass can kind of go in anything. Uh, but supposedly with the sensor stack on this particular body, uh, it's a little bit better suited for it. Uh, and, and no, I'm not going Leica. And then ultimately, you know, uh, it's important to keep in mind with this stuff. Uh, I am not shooting professional gigs. Uh, you know, I'm not going to shoot a wedding with, you know, this, this Elcan or, or with the Thipoc that's coming. Uh, I wouldn't recommend shooting a wedding in this day and age with manual glass. Um, if you're going to do that, just get fast autofocus glass and, you know, you're probably, you're probably shooting Sony or Canon and that's great. That works for you. Uh, that's just not what I'm going for. And, uh, again, you know, photog photography for me is, a uh, is more of a personal thing. Uh, and if people want to also enjoy the images or, or these videos that I put out, then, then that's awesome. But, you know, ultimately it, it's personal first and then, uh, for the enjoyment of others, secondary to that. I did, however, have in mind with, you know, all that said, uh, if I do want to go shoot professional gigs, um, you know, if I ever have the time, I, I work a lot otherwise. Uh, but if I ever have the time, then the, the body I've chosen, uh, along with these lenses, um, uh, you know, there, there are autofocus options and there are other macro options and that kind of stuff. I'm actually very interested in seeing the Viltrox lab series. Um, I think that's basically going to just crush the market this year. Uh, all the Sony G master glass and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then particular I, I would say for, for Nikon, uh, I think it's going to be an awesome set of lenses that uh, will definitely be pro quality and at a much better price than, you know, the first party manufacturers are offering. So yeah, to summarize, uh, I am sticking with 28 and 50 first, uh, 21 and 90 are kind of a, a further goal, uh, maybe a macro eventually, but that's going to be my entire kit. Uh, I really don't need anything else. And uh, I've already said all that ahead of time. So that's what I'm going with. Uh, let me know what you guys think about those focal lengths. Uh, what are you guys using? That sort of thing. Uh, I'd love to hear, you know, any, any two lens, three lens setups that are, uh, you know, kind of anti-gas, if you will, in a sense, even though we're, we're talking about buying stuff right now. That is it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Later.